Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to our 50-second LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how to update rows. Alright, so we've got our, our products table. It's got a primary key, description, cost, and date added. And as you can see, whoopsie, let's get rid of that. I was just playing around. Here's our actual data here. And what we're going to do is we're going to update the cost field for one of these records. And let's just say Bob's Gun Shop, record 3. We're going to actually go here, and we're going to choose the update statement. Now, as you can see, the update statement is very similar to the insert statement. You say update, database table, and we're going to get rid of some of this clutter here, make this a little easier to understand. So there's our table, because we're using the MyStore database. We're not going to update the primary key, and we're not going to update the description or the date added. We're going to update the cost here. We're going to say the cost equals and we're going to say 299 and we have a where statement and we're going to say where and let's say 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this first record here actually no we said the third didn't we? Sorry. Bob's Gun Shop, we're going to change that from 99 to 299. So we're going to choose the primary key of 3. So very simply, we're saying use the MyStore database, update the table products, set the cost equal 299, where the primary key equal 3. And then we're just going to select the records so we can see them. Click the wrong one. Sorry about that. There we go. As you can see, there's our Bob's Gun Shop 299. So it updated that. And we can change it again. Let's just, for the sake of argument, change it to 499. Because you can buy an entire gun shop for only 499. As you can see, we're updating the data. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You can choose any of the columns you want, except for the primary key, because that's an auto increment field. You can't do that. Um, the order by would not make any sense here because you're just updating all the records that meet this where qualification. You should note that if you omit this where, if you just take that out, it's going to do all of them. Now if you are in the MySQL editor and you try this, it's got built-in safeties where it just won't let you do that. I think in the preferences you can actually go in and change it around, but just in case you're at home playing around, like we'll set this to one. Hmm. Oh, dude. I was like, why didn't that work? Jeez. I am starving. I'm waiting for my pizza to get done. There we go. So it changed to 499. So you can see how you can do individual ones, but if you try taking the where statement out, and that's not a shortcoming of the language, it's a shortcoming of the MySQL editor or the MySQL workbench. I think there's somewhere in edit preferences where you can actually disable that. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found this educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.